Welcome to another edition. This is uh, episode two of Cooking with Crazy Craig. Today we're going to talk about salads. Anybody can make a salad, but I just wanted to cover the amount of different ingredients that I like in an al a salad. I like my salads complicated, complex, and filling, especially filling. The gut shows that that works. Now this morning I'm being assisted by somebody who doesn't eat salad, but who likes to observe everything. He's an agent with the Federal Bureau of uh, Feline Bureau of Inquisitiveness, the FBI, the Special Agent Mulder. And Mulder's here to help us out and um, just supervise everything we do. He's on surveillance duty um, almost 24 hours a day. <laughs> so that is Agent Mulder. I'd also like to mention the sponsor for today's video, Wise Owl Video Productions. All right, let's start. We're gonna start with the most basic thing. You grab a handful of romaine lettuce. Again, like we said yesterday, could be iceberg lettuce. And if this stuff works up really nice, chew it up fairly small. Then let's add a little bit more, at least we're gonna pretend it's healthy. This is organic spinach and butter. Not sure about the butter part. Just adds a little more color to the salad. Make those. And nutrients. And nutrients. Why make it nutrient? That sounds like we're actually trying to be healthy. Now, Wiesel Studios was trying to get me to not put mushrooms in this com in this show because Wiesel Studios doesn't like these wonderful gifts from the Lord known as mushrooms. And I, however, do. So I'm probably being a little excessive in the mushrooms here, but hey, they're awesome. Cut them into chunks. Sometimes I just break them apart by hand. Okay. There are some mushrooms. Need a little more lettuce. Let's throw a bit more lettuce into there. This is going to be a salad that ought to last me all week. Unfortunately, it will only last me 10 minutes. Okay, now let's go into the onion. Onion adds flavor to everything. If you do it quick and fast, it doesn't make you cry. Onion. Little chef's tip here. After you've chopped stuff up and you want to scrape it in, Use the back of the knife, and that way you won't get it dull. That's a professional chef's tip. Guaranteed I'm not one. How about some carrots? Add some more color. Not a big carrot fan. Wise Owl Studios loves these things. Again, I'm always cutting away from my finger and using a cutting motion to get through these guys. And in they go. Back the knife, starting to add some color. How about we add some more color? Tomatoes. Some people would eat these whole. Um, I like to just slice them in half. See if we can do two of them without getting hurt. Very good. Proof the Lord loves me. Okay, while we're cutting little round things in half, let's add some black olives. Black olives, I don't often cut in half. These little guys, they're not worth cutting. What the heck with it. In they go. What else do we need? How about some green onions? These add just another little onion flavor, a different kind. I like to start cutting from the grassy end because then it's easier and easier to grip it as you go down towards the part you don't actually want to use. This little guy here with a blonde head of hair, that goes away. Everything else, back of the knife, into the salad. All righty, what do you got? Celery. Celery is the only thing here that has negative calories. It has zero calories, and as you chew it, you cut the yucky ends off, and then just Celery. What else do we have here? We have celery. Bacon, bacon, bacon. I think that's all of those things I wanted to add. Now, protein's a good thing. I don't generally eat a whole lot of meat. Um, we could do uh, various forms of things, but I'll put some bacon bits on because, you know, bacon is uh, tasty. That's, it's tasty and it's one of the few non meaty or meaty things that I will go after. Great source of protein is eggs. You can buy eggs that are pre-boiled and pre-peeled. I don't have the patience to spend 30 minutes peeling one of these babies. And then, you have a sweet little egg slicer. And you just put the egg in, 
Turn it over your salad. Bingo. <laughs> Sliced, freshly, perfectly set up hard boiled eggs. A lot of protein in that and not a lot of calories. I think that's everything I want to put in it. Now, dressing choices. I meant to get these Wait, out. But you could put other things in there it. There are other things you could pin in it. Um, my assistant is saying some things like... Chicken. Chicken. I uh, never eat chicken, but yes. Ham. Something. Ham, which jelly is... Jelly ham. We turkey, turkey. Slices. Basically, if it lived in... Shrimp. Can, and shrimp. If it lived on the land or the sea and can be killed, it could go in your salad. But salads are generally non-living uh, critters. So, I think we've got everything there. Honey mustard dressing is a favorite of mine. French is a favorite of mine. Uh, Thousand Island is a favorite. I like a lot of them. Honey mustard's probably my favorite. Or, chunky blue cheese. Do they call it chunky? But let's make it really chunky. Let's take some blue cheese chunks. And we'll put those guys in there. Or you could and, do feta cheese. Yeah. And at this point, we're going to take a very brief pause for a word from our sponsor, Wise Owl Studios. We'll be right after that. Welcome back to episode two of Cooking with Crazy Craig. We're just about ready to finish off that salad right now. Let's add a little bit of crunch to it in a couple of ways. Now, most people, when they think of crunch in a salad, they think of croutons. Those aren't croutons, those are wonton strips. We're gonna pretend they're croutons. This is gonna be an experiment. I'll try a few wonton mm -hmm, strips on there. Good. That's a different approach. And then something I learned at a restaurant up in uh, Kalispell, Montana, is this is grape nuts. And grape nuts, as you know, are basically like the gravel on the bottom of a fish tank, only they're edible. So we add some crunchy into there with those guys, and then we finish it all off, shake it up a little bit, and add lots of calories and lots of flavor with chunky, which is now actually chunky blue cheese dressing, and I think we're, <coughs> excuse me, just about there. Anyhow, we do thank you for joining us on this little episode through Simple Cooking with Crazy Craig. Again, thanks to our sponsor, Wise Owl Studios, and we'll see you at the table. Have a good day.